a single customer at the counter of Hitori Shabu Shabu in Tokyo's Kanda Business District. Hitori means alone. Shabu Shabu is normally a group experience, gathering around a hot pot with family, friends or workmates and dipping thin slices of meat into the stock. Here everyone has their own plate and you get to eat all the best cuts yourself. This restaurant's popular because you don't have to worry about anyone else. You can just tuck straight into your food. People aren't being antisocial. They're just compartmentalizing their lives. They'll eat with the family one night, with their colleagues the next, and then they feel like eating alone. But not everyone enjoys their own company. Nippon Life Insurance Research Institute says by 2020, living alone will be the norm in Japan, and that could be a huge problem. People are becoming more isolated. They used to live in friendly communities where neighbors would help them. Now people want to protect their privacy. So people in these communities have never even met their neighbors. They don't know if they live alone or if it's a couple or a family. So sometimes people die alone without anyone noticing. There's even a term for it in Japanese, kōdokushi, which best translates as isolated rather than solitary death, if recent cases are any indication. In February, a couple in their 60s and their 30-something some were found in their apartment starved to death. The following month, a woman starved to death in her apartment. She was in her 70s and her disabled son was discovered on the verge of death. He was only rescued because a drinks delivery woman noticed something wrong and alerted the police. Sociologists say the government and local authorities can't solve the problem without the public's help. Japan has to rebuild its communities so that people look after each other again. Otherwise, Japan will never solve the problem of its aging society. So if you don't want to share your shabu shabu, that's fine, so long as you also get along with your neighbours. Mike Fern, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.